Hmm. Well, is it working now? Yeah. I'll give folks a couple seconds to hopefully be able to check it out again. Yeah, it's true. I was excited to show this off, and uh, I'd been trying to test out the streaming here, but uh, the boxes came in today, and I was like, i got to get this thing opened and uh, shown off as soon as possible. All right, so I'm going to just get into it. Um, if the stream starts to flip out, I'm just going to keep going and do the best that I can. So let's see how it goes. Let's turn it around so that we can show you the box up close and extremely personal. Yes, that's correct. You see it correctly. That's uh, just the Lord Commander over 20 kilograms. That's about 40 pounds plus worth of stuff, which uh, is insane. I'm not worried about losing viewers. I'm just worried about showing you the epicness. So hopefully we can go ahead and open up this box together here. Do something. Hopefully we can get all this ripped open and I don't drop the camera onto the floor. We'll see how it goes. I'll try to get you guys some lighting too, which is nice. All right. So first we have some wonderful stretch goals. Uh, it is a nice thick package. It's got all of the um, little pop outs here. Uh, I will, yeah, I'll try to open this up really quickly if I'm able with one hand, which is tough. But I can also do videos later where I can show people um, the items individually. And this way uh, I can go into more detail in an individual video. Uh, we have these reusable little blood stickers. Um, they were supposed to be fully clear and total. But um, they had some issues with manufacturing that, and I couldn't hold up manufacturing for a couple of blood stickers. But uh, they're still there, and they're all reusable stickers, which is cool. So you can use them, show off some little skeletons, some scorch marks, some pretty cool, fun stuff. They work really nicely. Um, they should be able to be, uh, they should be able to come off and be reused. Again, it's not easy to do this with one hand, but oh, there we go. Cool. Got one of them little scorch mark here Let's see stick it down you can move it around a little bit pretty cool you know it doesn't stick on just sticks just enough a little static cling so that'll kind of go on punch board of course I'm doing it on punch board that has you know some little sticks here but let's go on to the next item here We have some of these makeshift walls. These here pop out to create some extra walled elements. You can do different types of things with them. You can add on to little sections. You can make all kinds of rooms, um, all kinds of sections when you put them together and combine them, which is pretty cool. So we've got a ton of those in here for you, folks. We've got some cool trees. So these are all neat pop together trees, which are neat. And they pop out and you basically put them together in a T-junction section here when you pop them out. And um, so they pop together like this. and you can make a little tree you can add some cover which is cool you know you can put them wherever you want adds a little coolness factor then we got the rivers and the bridges I'm gonna prop pop this out here this little river section and the cool thing about the rivers is is that they um, are meant to kind of click together so you use these little U's here and um, 
you can, I'm not going to show you the bridges too, but I'll show you the how the river kind of works here. You see, we actually put a little instruction to help, but basically you will click the rivers together to kind of make a long river. This is just a little optional fun stretch goal stuff, but uh, basically you do one of these where you put the little sections together and then you can kind of angle the river how you want, you know. It's better on the map, of course, but this gives you an idea. There's a bunch of these rivers here for you to use. And then pretty much the only thing in the game that needs a little assembly, and this is one of the stretch goals, is the crates here. The crates in the treasure chest. You pop them out and you can just stick a little dab of glue and the little dab of glue will turn it into a permanent box. You know, um, so we kind of marked it for you to help you out. Keep it as simple as possible. You fold them together, little dab of glue under, and you got some boxes. And these are all fun little free stretch goals. And there's a ton of these boxes, by the way, like a lot. So you'll have boxes of fun, literally. And then there's some other trees. The other ones are kind of tropical. These are a little bit more, quote unquote, regular trees. But they're cool. There's lots of them. And then there's these little spell circles. You can use them for whatever, but they're kind of fun. A little double-sided art on them. You can place them somewhere, have it be a starting location for miniatures. Lots of options for that. You got your uh, little starting markers here. You could use these, you know, for, for Warhammer. You could use them for anything you want. Just extra tokens there. Can't hurt, you know. And then, of course, under here, is the ridiculous epicness that is the Lord Commander. So we did our best to prepackage the Lord Commander so that they'd be a little bit easier to ship and they'd be more protected. So we put in all this foam, this extra foam, believe it or not, has a high extra cost, but uh, it's certainly better than everybody being disappointed if their stuff gets there and it has a huge dent in it. And uh, it's also not fun for us to have product with huge dents in it so again yeah, this is something you can throw away later but i think it works works really well to protect your stuff so that's nice so from left to right we have the dungeon zone the ancient zone the cathedral zone and the obsidian zone um, and there's quite a bit of space left in here on purpose so again if it gets hit you know if something hits the box it won't hit the game product so there's a lot, enough space between it for uh for upstone to be protected that was the key so starting with the first zone here we've got the cathedral zone which i will try to crack open for you folks first um, i'm going to take all the boxes out first then i'll clear the big box and then i'll show you each box we've got the ancient zone here We've got the Dungeon Zone and the Obsidian Zone Kickstarter exclusive epicness, which will not be going to retail. So let me get rid of this giant box and then I will try to put this tripod down so that I can try to show you stuff is the hope here. So all the stretch goals, I'm just gonna push them off to the side a little bit here if possible. Our stickers, stretch goals. There goes the light, you see? This is how it goes. Can't get, a, uh, can't get it easy. It's gotta be a challenge just for fun. So let's go, right, I'll angle it down. So you can see stuff better. All right. I'm gonna try to angle this down as well. Gotta have uh, gotta have a little fun here, you know. If we drop everything, whatever. I'm sure it'll stay as epic as it was, even dropped. So let me try to angle this little phone tripod I've got here. Let's see if I can get it so that you can see something without blinding you and giving you motion sickness. 
going to flip it around so that I can angle it down. All right. With my little tiny tripod here. Okay, cool. This way I can show you some of the tiles as we go. Hmm. It's not going to want to stay up too perfectly because my phone is about 48 pounds. Let's put a dice bag, get some sandbags in here, you know. And cool. It'll probably fall once or twice, just be prepared. Okay. Cathedral. Here we go. Let's crack this open. Do the best we can. Show you this. Good morning. Okay, some cathedral action. Let's crack it open here and see how we look. So the first thing you're going to see here, of course, is the box. We try to make it very sturdy so you can use this to actually store and transport your stuff. We didn't want a super thin box. We wanted something that's nice and thick. That uh, keeps everything nice. And it should show you on the box the table of contents on both sides. So if you're wondering, like, what's supposed to be in here, which tiles, we got all the shapes here. Um, so... I know it's slightly out of focus, but it'll show you uh, what each box has, what battlefield it can make up, etc. And outside of the box, we have, other than the box, we have this little pamphlet here. It's got kind of a quick description of what's inside. And uh, it gives you a bit of an instruction on how to kind of show off all of this stuff here, that's the hope. Let me turn this this way, if I can. Make it a little bit easier to see. There we go. That's a little better. See if it'll stand up. Kind of using the sandbag method here to hold my stuff up because it's heavy. get another 14 dice bags okay so as you can see here we got a little instruction manual this here will show you the different types of tiles you have illustrated it'll show you kind of how to use the tabs again it, they're generally self-explanatory but we want to make sure that you know you are as informed as possible so you don't accidentally damage something you know pull off a tab break a thing by accident we want to prevent that as much as possible. Um, the stuff is very rough and tough to be reused a lot. But again, um, you know, we want to make sure that you are as informed as possible. Then we gave you some example board layouts to help with some ideas. But again, it's all up to you. You can make these boards however you so desire. And a couple of best use and care instructions. You know, this is the idea. Keep the stuff very carefully. Of course, one of the most important things is when you're taking down up zone, you take the tab out of any of the tab tiles so you don't accidentally rip it. That's important as well. All right, so foam. Again, it's costly. It's expensive to put in here, but it'll keep your stuff as protected as possible once you put it in there. So, of course, every single package wouldn't be complete without some wonderful silica gel to keep it dry. Do not eat, okay? All right. So these here are extra tab protectors. Um, the tiles will come with the plastic on there already, but there's some extra just in case. So we just give this to you as a just in case. It's extra. You don't really need it, but we want to make sure that you have everything you need so you don't have to buy anything extra. So we threw this in just in case, and I'll show you what I mean in a second here. So, out of the box, what do we got? Okay, we got the crates. 
So, the crates open up here. Let me flip it around to show you here. So, the crates here have a tap protector in it. You may not be able to see it, or you might actually. In there, you can see where the holes are. They may or may not, depending, may need a little simple punch. And when you do, it'll just take this little garbage out and throw it away. And when you do that, it will allow you to put the tab into that proper hole there. That fell somewhere. So the tab, again, as you can see here, it actually already has the plastic tab protector on it. I call it the tab protector. This is for longevity. Um, this is because it's, it's made of cardstock. We wanna be able to reuse it as much as possible. So when you put this down, you're going to put the tab in here, okay? Again, it's hard to show exactly. You're gonna put the tab into the slot here, and you're going to push it down into its counterpart. And once you do, you can see that the, the actual containers are held down now. They're never going to be 100 million percent flat, but they will be stable like this. They'll be quite flat, but not completely. And they will hold miniatures on them. So I'll grab a random one, you know. So you can put all kinds of stuff all over them. You could put technically you could put a miniature inside. If I had a one of proper size, you know, let me get a, another random miniature. There's a little random Wolverine. Go inside there. You can be in cover or hide or something interesting, you know. This big guy's looking for him. We can't find him. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. He's sneaking around. <laughs> oh, he fell. He's dead. Okay, he's dead. All right, so you get the idea, but it's pretty sturdy, you know. It can hold a pretty good amount of miniatures. This is a pretty hefty plastic miniature. It'll hold up there with other stuff, you know and look pretty cool. And this, again, this sets up nicely on the table. I'm not gonna set up each setup, but I'm gonna show you the tiles as we go through here, just so you can get an idea. We'll go to the next one here. I'm just gonna close this one up. Take the tab protector out here. Just kinda on the side, because it's easier to do without trying to reach around the camera. I took the tab out, as you can see, and then, Folds it up, put it over there. Beautiful, nice and easy. Let's see, this is the same. That's the same one. So there's two of those. Then we have the actual cathedral itself. Pretty cool. This one has two tabs in it. And just like the other one, you're gonna kinda just push the little punches out. I mean, they come right out. I mean, and this is just trash, you know, just toss it away. And then these two tabs will go in here, like so, you know, and boom. Now, you don't have to use the tabs if you don't want to, but I like to. Gives it a little more taut look to it, you know, helps with the, the form of everything, you know, and keeps it nice and strong together. So I'm going to just flip this around so you can see the inside here, super detailed. Super nice and easy to use. It's gonna fold up. Again, miniatures will hold nicely on these. It doesn't even really bend. I mean, unless I'm pushing it, just putting that miniature on there holds nicely. Down here on this little shelf, it's nice, which is really a walkway. You know, all the characters can go on the inside. We gridded it out. You can use the grid or not, it's up to you. But that's all the way you wanna do it now. One of the biggest mistakes we see people make is they want to go ahead and just fold it now. They forget that they did the tab. They just want to go, whoosh. you know, it's not going to fold easy with the tabs in. Like, it, it doesn't want to fold right now. So, we just want to make sure when we're done using it, we're going to take these tabs out. You know, just pull it out. Boom. I'm just, just doing it kind of slow to show you. You can push it out from the other side if you need to. Boom, pull them out, and then fold it away. Nice and done, easy. When you want to use it again, open it back up. You put the tabs back in, and you're good to go. 
This miniature here, um, this is closer to 28. The Wolverine is closer to 28. This is a big one. This is, uh, I don't know. It's some kind of Empyrean Archangel from Paizo. So I have no idea what the actual millimeters are on that. But it's probably like three and a half inches tall. And he's he's closer to 28. He's a hero click standard size human, well, Wolverine mutant. So, but this 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 one has got to be about 28 on a hero click stand. So slightly thicker than a normal stand, but not that much. <clears throat> What's the next one here? Another, this is the other side of the cathedral. And again, sometimes you'll see, you'll open it up and it might, because it's the first time, it might like be slightly inside. You just pop it out and it's ready to go. You know, once you get the tabs in there and you use it a couple times, it's going to be, you know, kind of unfolded and, and formed to how you want it. But again, they're, they're, they're pretty strong, you know, overall. I mean, obviously you don't want to sit on it. You don't want to put, you know, super heavy metal vehicles on top of this, this tile. But regular plastic and, and normal, you know, um, other types of smaller metal miniatures will, will fit nicely on it. So, what's next? <clears throat> we've got, ah, we've got this this here, awesome epic tile here. This is what you can put really heavy stuff on, actually, which is cool. <clears throat> so, this has two sides that have the little tabs here you push them through on each side so that you're connecting it and then it'll keep it nice and taut together and you can see also here it's a good example you can see how kind of this tab protector tape goes a little over it's to kind of protect it from being bent over and over again so and again if anything gets a little you know for cocked after tons of use if it gets a little messed up you can choose to go ahead and add another piece of the tap protector on from what we gave you. So if you need it, but you probably won't. But if you do, it's there. Each one of the boxes will have basically what it needs. But this one's pretty strong. It's very hefty. Takes up a good amount of space. You know, I have it on top of the box, of course, which is not optimal for exact uh, use. But you can get the idea. Um, and these are brand new out of the box. You guys saw me open the box, so you can see that it's, this is what it's going to be like when you open yours nice and big out of the box. You know? So let's undo our tabs so we don't destroy our stuff when we go to pop it back down. But you can see, you just give it a little, just be, be uh, you know, careful with it to the best of your ability. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not paper. It's, it's well-made, constructed, heavier-duty cardstock and cardboard. But, you know, if, if you take care of it, it will last a really long time. If you don't, it'll last a decent long time. <laughs> so here's the other one for this. All right. And the last couple tiles here, we've got uh, one of my favorites, actually, that, that you can use for smaller games. I really like it. It makes like, because if you put two of these together, it makes a really nice smaller board. And it only has one tab. And it actually it actually works really well even without the tab. I really like this tile. It folds and unfolds really easily, you know. But if you want to tab it up, you go ahead and take it and you tap it here on the side. This little section here. It goes right inside. Now it, it doesn't even want to fold anymore. Now it holds it really open. When you're done, you know, finished all my, my game for the day. Ah, whoop, Wolverine's dead again. You can go ahead and uh, you can take the tab out and boom, you're done. Nice and easy. And this is the same one. So this is this is your cathedral zone. Eight epic tiles. Lots of foam. Again, the foam's there to protect it, you know. You want to keep them nice and safe and store them. Do you have to have them in the foam? No, I mean, you could take this stack of, of uh, tiles and you can, I don't know, throw them in a separate box, put them in your own bin, Store them however you want, but if you're going to store them in our boxes, we made this foam here for you so it'll fit nicely. It won't fly all over the place. If you drop it or something, uh, you know, if you get a dent or ding in your box, it won't get destroyed. So that's our goal. We want to give you the best possible safe tile use. 
So let me close this one up and we will go to the ancient zone next. All right, the ancient zone. Slightly bigger than the cathedral zone, but uh, epic in its own way here. Of course, this is the one that has the pyramid in it and some cool trees. Again, it creates a 60 by 44 zone, but of course, the pyramid itself goes up nice and high, which is cool. So let's crack it open. Just like the other one, it shows you the tiles that's inside and the pieces. On the outside of the box, in case you decide not to have your little pamphlet with you, again, it gives you some ideas for how to set it up. You can have the pyramid on both sides of your board. You don't have to put the pyramid together in the middle. You can put it on the side. You can put it together and put the sleeve on top. Or you can not use the sleeve and make it kind of more of a ziggurat instead of a pyramid and have them kind of facing each other. So it's like you're on the on half of two pyramids on your board. Lots of ways you can do it. You can have it on these sides, however you want. You can kind of set up a really cool board and have fun with it. <clears throat> the uh, obsidian stretch goals, if you didn't have the Lord Commander, they will be inside. So like, let's say you just got one ancient zone. Inside of this box, there would be an extra tile in the box. Okay, if you got the Lord Commander, you get the full Obsidian Zone box, so you wouldn't have them in here. So that's the easiest way to find your your uh, stretch goal um, uh, Obsidian tiles. They'll be in your box. So, all right. So more silica gel. Do not eat. So this is the sleeve. It's nice and wrapped up here to again keep it safe this is probably the part in the box that you should be the most careful with um, it makes the pyramid look like a full pyramid and it's basically a cardstock item that when you take it apart okay it kind of has like this accordion folding section you basically will put it together you're gonna have to give it a little bit of a a folding finesse to kind of put it into shape but you're going to put these little little sections here into each other. When you do them all, it'll open up and become a full sleeve for the pyramid. Very hard for me to do right now with the camera and show it to you. But again, I will do another video where I go into more detail and I can stage some of it and clip it up while I'm messing around with the, the items and not messing around. So first tile here, this has no tabs on it at all. This one is meant to just open up and go right ahead and use. Again, super sturdy, super easy, lots of cool details. If you look inside, it's like a little dead skeleton, you know, lots of rocks and rubble. You know, the whole thing is meant to be really, really cool and, um, and thematic, you know? So it even creates a cool spooky shadow on this side when the light is on this side and creates this neat sundial effect. All right, I'm just messing around. That's just the first tile here. Same one. Nice and easy. Here we have the cool trees. Now this will be better if it's on a full flat surface like so. So I want to show you what that looks like. This is great for cover. Um, it can hold some stuff up on here. Stuff can technically go inside depending on what game you're playing or how you're playing. But you can see that, you know, the idea is you can use this for cover. And this will give you kind of this, these giant, you know, trees and walls that will block off the other side. So really easy. Again, no tabs. Folds out really, really quickly and simply. So a very unique tile just for this one. Once it's on the table flat, it lays nice and flat. <clears throat> so get the idea for that. There's another one. And it's got a lot of cool details, actually. If you look at the different sections here, you can see it kind of has like some statue stuff and 
the different trees and the walls. They all have different shrubs and stuff on them. So it makes them look a little bit more cool in the different sections. And it's meant so it like kind of has like a little partial door. So like some somebody wants to walk in there, you can. And again, we gave you other scatter terrain. You could technically add something to it. You know, if you wanted to like add like a little section of a wall. This is not the right color. There's other ones that are matching, but you get the idea. If you wanted to add on and have extra cover or whatever. So it's all up to you. That's that's the idea. Using your imagination in an easier way here. What's next? So these are the same but different theme and different color from the ones that are in the cathedral zone that I just showed earlier. And again, these have the tabs, these mausoleum tiles here. You tab them up and it'll keep it nice and taut down, holds a lot of weight. Now, if you're doing this for D&D &D, or if you're playing an RPG with this or some other type of game that makes sense, you know, we have some really cool details. Players might want to go down into the mausoleum, into the dungeon. You know, maybe they'll come out in here. Maybe they'll end up on some other tile. So there's lots of cool elements on the tiles and details that are put in and the sands and all that stuff. So, you know, we want them to feel thematic and really make your gaming come to life. Um, but again, easy. We want it to be easy. So you can just set it up quickly. Fold it away. Put it away. And you're, and you're out of there. More playing less fiddling around that's the idea right so let's see here we've got must be the pyramid itself which it opens up in an epic way i don't even know if i can fit the whole thing on the camera it is big um let's see if i can get the other piece out next to it let me move my light that wants to fold down on my head Again, these just fold down. They don't have any any tabs either. Oops, see. Here we go. I'm trying to reach to get it here, but should give you an idea out of the box. So this is kind of if you wanted to play it more like a ziggurat, you can leave it open like this. Um, I'm gonna pick up the camera and show you better. So here you can see. It has a lot of open space on the inside, so you can move through it here if you so desire. You could shoot people or shoot things or do ranged combat through the windows, these kind of holes of this ruin, um, using it more like a ziggurat. Um, and again, very detailed on the inside there. Uh, let me see if I can get this sleeve on for you it takes a tiny bit of prep and I'm trying to just unfold it because once it's unfolded you give it kind of a few counter folds so it's not folded from the factory <laughs> and then you can kind of shape it into the pyramids shape now you can't see me doing this but I am trying to do it here off the camera for you and going to put the, the little tabs into the slots while I'm doing that to create the pyramid shape. Um, just give me a second so I can try to do this for you folks. But there we go. It's not going to be perfect because I haven't had the time to set it up a million percent, but we're going to put this out here to the best of our ability so you can get an idea for what it's supposed to look like when you want it in full pyramid mode. So this is the idea here. Um, again, you do a little more counter folding. Once you take it out of the box, you will be able to get it to be a little more um, taut around the pyramid itself. But you get the idea. Basically, there's these little tabs here. They go into the little tab holder. Once you put those tabs in place, it creates this little sleeve. It just lays on top. And it just gives it a little bit more of a full pyramid shape to it. Closes off some of those 
holes and gaps. Still gives you entrances and stuff um, as you go through it, but it gives you that idea and that feeling, that sense of being a true pyramid. It's meant to be a little mystical and magical and, you know, whatnot, but you can also use it for historical feels and whatnot, and, you know, it's kind of all about how you want to use it. So, you know, you can enter and exit, you know, miniatures can... Once you have it in place. Again, I haven't had the chance to properly fold this out perfectly, but I don't want to spend too long. But you can see, you know, guys can be inside there and move around, move through it. And then when you're done, you know, you will take the sleeve off. You're going to undo these tabs. I'm going to do it real quick behind the camera because it's a little harder to do. It will... Fold back down like this, nice and easy, and then these two will just fold down. There's your pyramid, done super quickly and easily, which uh, is pretty epic. So, that's that on the pyramid. I'm going to put that back in the box because I'm now surrounded by boxes. <laughs> uh a lot of stuff and it's a lot of epicness i put the pyramid thing on top i don't want to smush it underneath everything but they're all pretty much equal shapes when folded so they'll fit back nice and easy put a little foam back in there stick this on top it does come with a little plastic bag i'm not gonna do it right now but you can put yours back in your plastic bag if you so desire that's up to you let me get my little foam thing here Put that on top. Again, I'm not uh, someone who likes to sit there and fiddle with packaging forever. So for my copy, I would just leave it like that. And uh, boom, that was your ancient zone. So now we will take a look at the dungeon zone here. This is the dungeon zone. For those who want to play RPGs and whatnot with it, you can use the Dungeon Zone. You can also use it for other more close quarters types of miniatures games, such as... Um, yeah, you could, technically, you could play Space Hulk on it if you wanted to. Um, there's a lot of games that you could do it with, or make your own game using UpZone. So... I had some questions the other day because we did this post-production in order to make the zones even better. We made a bunch of changes and updates to the dungeon zone to make it the best it possibly can be because we were not 100% happy with how the, um, the original prototypes uh, laid on the table. I wanted to make sure that they, the, the tiles themselves could hold together, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. But these here... Um, are the dungeon clips, okay? And these clips here are used, and I'm going to show you exactly in a second, but these are used to hold tiles together, the different dungeon tiles, and this will make it so that they are nice and tight together on the board or on the table. So I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second here. Move these to the side, and just like before, little instructions table of contents shows you what you got inside there's lots of them tons of them different types of tiles and walls and different pieces and some different configurations and such ways you can lay them out but of course you can lay it out however you so desire a little bit of care you know bada boom so let me show you the tiles and again it's not going to show you the uh the little clips in here because there's something that we did at the end because we wanted it to be the best it could be. So we did it for you folks to make it, again, the best it possibly could be. So there's a lot in here. We created custom foam to keep it as organized for you folks as possible. So you can see the foam is shaped to the different ways. Um, you could, you know, more silica gel, do not eat. You could put it in um, kind of however it fits, however you so desire when you have it. But it's in here to give you an idea of the best way to put it away. 
I'm going to take out a few pieces. I'm going to show you a couple of the different ones. I'm not going to take it all out because it's a lot and I don't want to kill you guys on tons of time of watching uh, me fiddle with the tiles, uh, putting them in and out of the box. And I want to get to the obsidian zone and a couple of the other things really quickly and not make you watch forever. So these are little simple flat boards. These are used to create multiple types of rooms. They're both the same on the other side. Um, this is basically a way for you to start your dungeon or create a big room in the middle of your dungeon. Um, you can create multiple rooms around it. So for instance, we, I'm just going to put this kind of over here so you can see what I'm doing. We could use a room like this. Whoops. We can use a room like this. You open it up. It creates the room nicely. And what I like to do when I first get them is because again, they're from the factory. They've never been fully folded before. I like to take them and just give it a little backwards fold this way they sit a little bit flatter on the table now you see how these these walls are a little bit more moving and that's because it needs to be able to pop up and down right but when you have another room i'm going to take another room here and take it out this one is more of a plain room with one big open wall and again you use that to create like you could put this on the outside of this one facing this way and it kind of leads into more of an alcove or a large hallway or whatever you want it to be. But again, I fold it slightly backwards. This gives it a little, it'll let it sit flat on the table when you put it down, like so. Now, the dungeon clips. So for instance, let's say we want to put these two tiles here together. I'm just going to take this move over there. Let's say we want to put these two tiles together the way we're making our dungeon. Um, this room... It doesn't show any specific open doors, but it has a, an illustration of a door. So that's however you want to deal with it. People can move in and out of your tiles however you want. It's got stairs, could go to another level, however. But let's say this room is meant to be abutting that room, okay? Even though it's not technically connected, um, you know, the walls are adjoined. So you would take this clip and you would put it over these two walls like so and they they're meant to look like little columns kind of thing um so it's you know meant to blend in a little bit you put it here in this corner and you take another one and you would put it in the other corner and what this does is it holds the tiles together nice and tightly so you can move them you can um push them in different directions you will keep this wall nice and tight together and as you build your dungeon, I don't know, let's say I want to, I don't have enough room here and I want to create this room like this. And this is actually a secret passage now. I put this together like that. So if they search for secret passages in this room, they will, I'll open that room up. But right now the players don't know how to get in there. But later I might decide, oh, uh, I want to open that up for some reason, you know, and I can do it that way. Um, I could just leave it open if I so desire. This could be an extra floor. This can act as a wall over here, if you can see that. That's the idea with those little, little sections there. There's another cool special one. I like this one. It has kind of like a little tomb on it. Super cool. With a little gold. I like it. Looks really good on the, on the table. Most of them are more plain, but we wanted to have a couple of cool epic looking ones so that, you know, you can make stories with them or just have some things, a little cover in there or something, you know. But again, when you're done with them, they just fold up like that. Nice and easy. So, let me get you guys another tile out of the box. There's, again, there's, there's tons of them. So many tiles in the box. And they're all different types. Some of them have open sides and doors on them some of them are more um, closed depending on the tile some of them are open on both sides three sides this one's three sides see so i like to again I like to bend it backwards a little bit see i'm messing up my dungeon but those two stayed together because they got the clips so this particular one let's say i wanted to put it like this i didn't want all three sides I just want two I could take the clip like so and clip it on the side like that. And these are just cardboard, 
you know, and I'm not jamming them on. I'm just kind of slipping them on and they stay on there and it holds them together. It's super quick to do, you know, this could be my whole dungeon. You know, I might just have this one big room and this uh, little wall. This could be some basement to some inn or some cellar or something like that. Um, let me see. There's a bunch of these, like lots of them. So you can make different walls and orientations in there. Multiple special tiles. This is, I love this one. This is the, this is kind of the jail. Yeah, that's really cool. Looks awesome. Yes, how do you get people in and out of the jail, you ask? Well, you can unfold the, unfold it, put the guy inside. Wolverine's going to jail today. Oh, Wolverine, what did you do? Gene, I know, I know you. You're missing Gene. Now Wolverine's in jail. Eh, that's what you get. <laughs> All right, so you get that idea. But um, there's a ton of tiles in here. There's a couple ones of different sizes. So you can see this one is a little bit of a different size. This one's like um, six inches by four inches, where the standard ones are like six by six. So this one's a little bit of a rectangle size. It's got doors on it. Again, however you'd want to put it, you know? And you take your couple clips. Again, there's a lot of the clips. Once you punch them, you take the clip, attach it how you so desire, and... Uh, Create your dungeon your way, but quickly. And you didn't have to 3D print it. You didn't have to paint it. You didn't have to store it in a bin. You just had to open the box, take it out, put it out the way you wanted to. And bada boom, bada bing, you got a dungeon. So I'm going to just break this one down really quick. If anybody has any questions or wants to see anything, just let me know in the chat if you want to see anything specific before I put away the dungeon. The epic dungeon of epicness. See, just folds down nice. I took the clips off. Boom, folds away. Just going to go right into the box, into the uh, custom foam. Boom. Boom. Nice and easy. Keep it simple. Keep playing more than you're just messing around with components. I'd rather play than fiddle around with stuff. You know, it's just more fun get to playing. That's my goal. Opzone is here to help you play more and fiddle around less with stuff. I'm just going to toss these in, but you can do it. You can store them however you want. The little clips, there's lots of them. Again, I just took that stuff down in what, 10 seconds? It, you know, but normal dungeon, if you got like, let's say uh, Dwarven Tiles, Dwarven Forge, or if you got um, <clears throat> uh, the WizKids ones, the Snap Together ones, they're cool. They're cool. But even setting those up takes some time. This, it doesn't take any time. That's why we love it. That was the dungeon zone. Again, there's tons of tiles in there. So that was just a small micro dungeon. Uh, the bottom of an inn somewhere. All right, obsidian zone time. Let's take a look at the epic obsidian zone. Now the obsidian zone, what's cool about it is it's unique because it's a zone that has parts from the other zones, and of course it has this alien, you know, uh, Necron-y, uh, monster-y, alien, um, predator, whatever you want it to be, you know, in your universe, or whatever you're playing, whether it's Warhammer, some RPG, this could be a magical location in D&D &D somewhere, you know, this could be uh, some lich's dungeon, some, you know, evil location. Heck, it could be uh, one of the locations in uh, Lord of the Rings where the undead army is, or it could be anything, right? However you want to imagine it. And this has tiles from everything. So it has a little bit of dungeon, a little bit of cathedral, it has the pyramids, it has kind of a crate zone, it has kind of a little bit from everything. So you'll have one of these tiles in one of your things if you didn't get the Lord Commander. Otherwise, if you got the Lord Commander, you get the full obsidian zone box. Like all of them, it's got its little, its little section here. Shows you how to set it up. Tells you what's inside. Shows you how to use the tabs. You know, care instructions. More epic foam. Expensive, but so useful. So useful. So on top, now this one's going to be, again, it's got a lot of good protection foam, but this one's going to take a little bit more 
to put back in the box. Maybe uh, instead of 10 seconds, it's uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> but uh, you can see here, we've got some more wonderful silica gel. Do not eat. We've got some of the Obsidian Zone dungeon tiles. I'm glad I showed you the dungeon already so you can see what these look like. But um, they have the cool, more sci-fi theme to them and feel. I think they look really neat. Yep, exactly. Could be the Necron Tomb World. Could be uh, some cool alien spaceship. Could be a space hole. Could be uh, whatever you want. You know, it's up to you. And that's the, the beauty of it. It's all up to you how you want to set them up. But you can create a pretty big area if you put all four of these together. Let's see if I can show you at least a little bit. <clears throat> so... You can make them all adjoin if you want. You know, you can make one big room, multiple sections, however you want to put them together. But I'll just do a three. You can see real quick. But you can see, uh, you know, again, I don't have it with the little clamps or anything, but they, they go together pretty well. And then, boom, they fold up quick, nice and easy. Boom, easy. My little tripod back. All right, <clears throat> foam, and these you're going to just have to kind of put back in your way, so if you want to put them back in the box the right way, you'll just kind of orient them how you want, you'll put them back in here, and you'll have to slide it back into place, you know, to put them back, but I don't want to go crazy with the, the box, just want to show you quickly so you have an idea of what's in there, so just like in the pyramid Ancient Zone, this one comes with its own pyramid cover. They're called the sleeve, the pyramid sleeve, and it's themed, of course, to the Obsidian Zone. I'm not going to take this out for this one because we just showed it, but it's just pretty much the exact same thing. Different colors, different theme, different art. All right. This here is the flat board, which is really cool to have because you could use it in any zone technically to uh, kind of expand any section you want. But really what it's there for is to put your dungeon tiles on so that you can have kind of like a cool base for it. And it lets you make the full board that 60 by 44 play area. That's the key. So that's in here for that reason. And then if you want to use the dungeon, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. You can put something else. And you, you can mix and match the boards. If you have multiple sect sets of this and you want to make different sections, you can do that. All right. We're going to get the pyramid from the beginning. So <clears throat> as you can see, same shape, but it's got different graphic design, different colors. has that cool big green gem. So it gives you a little bit better of a of that that idea of what it's like folds up really nice just like the other one very very nicely nice and easy quick here's the other side <clears throat> here is that mausoleum but unlike the other one see this one is more sci-fi out so it's kind of got that green energy it's got the cool sci-fi doors you know i'll push this one down all the way for fun put the tabs in just to show you the tabs one more time. In case somebody didn't see earlier, somebody else came in. This is the, the tab protectors. You put these in this way to hold the certain tiles. Not all the tiles have this, but certain tiles have it. You put the tab in, um, and once you have it in, it'll hold together really nicely. Keeps it nice and taut. So... Uh, the extra tiles, are you talking about obsidian zone tiles? Because these are them. And if you got the Lord Commander, you got them all in this box. If you didn't get the Lord Commander, then they are separate. And there'll be one in each normal box. And they'll be marked with as a Kickstarter type of an item. If that's the extra tiles you're talking about. If you're talking about the add-on, I have them separately in a... They did not come in the Lord Commander box. They're a separate box. And I have them over on the other side of the room. I will show those quickly before we're done. <clears throat> here are the crates that are before so again the same pop-up shape but kind of a different thing who knows what these are maybe these are 
some kind of weird energy batteries. They could be anything, you know, in your universe. It's got cool runes on them and stuff. And, you know, it's got a lot of, like, neat stuff going on on them. So you can push them down. You use the... You can use the little tab on the inside again, just like before. Once you push the tab in, it'll keep it keep it taut. So, nice and easy. And... We've got the trees, but the, instead of it being a normal tree, it's like a nuclear explosion. So it's not the trees anymore. It's kind of more of something giving off smoke. Maybe it's a piece of a factory. Maybe it's a top of a pipe that goes to an underground layer. Could be anything, but it's basically the same pop-up, but it has completely different art with the theme of what you're looking for for the alien sci-fi feel here um again <laughs> it could be a mushroom cloud but basically it's like a smoke smoky look so looks cool you might not get the proper colors in the stream but it's nice and vibrant and, and bright but it's also has that dark sp spooky look to it kind of for an alien spooky look uh here is the obsidian's cathedral tile just like before this one has kind of the sci-fi door to it and it's got spooky green light coming from the windows and cool technical panels on it and stuff like that. And, you know, works really cool and nice. And it goes together nicely. It's got the tabs and, and all the whatnot in it. So you can check that out. What do we do if one of the pieces are not working correctly? I emailed, but I haven't gotten a response yet. My crates were glued in the wrong spot and I won't stand up correctly. If you got something that is errored, um, incorrect, which it's not going to happen so, super often because the manufacturer did a really, really good job. They did take their time too long. But if for some reason there's some issue, you email us like you did, we will get back to you as soon as we can. Once the fulfillment is done, we'll then be able to go ahead and send out any kind of replacements if anybody has an issue as we always do. Just be patient. Give us a little bit of time to get any of the fulfillments done. Once all the fulfillment's done, at least another week or so, we'll be able to start... Um, getting out any of the uh, replacements or fixing any issues or and whatnot. Alrighty, so if you got an issue, send us a picture, a description of what it is to our email, info at everythingepic.us, and we will get right back to you as soon as we can. Um, but just be patient because we won't be able to get any replacements until the fulfillment is 100% done. And this is that tile there with no tabs. This one just comes out really nicely. Again, it looks really cool with the green and the dark black and gray it has the grates on it again making it look sci-fi-esque but also alien and an ancient all right so that's your obsidian zone like that it's really good this is my first time looking at the final production off of the uh out of the the actual ships as well which is cool so you're getting my first view of it as well <clears throat> so I'm actually I'm literally looking at it at the same time as you folks. And, uh, you know, maybe that's brave. But uh, we had to, I wanted to show it to you folks as soon as we could. So I want to get these all in there nicely. Put this one back in and put these here for you folks. But I don't want to spend a lot of time making it uh, 5 million percent. I'm going to put them in here like this. It doesn't, uh, it's not like they're going to go flying anywhere on the inside of the box. But, <clears throat> you know, also remember, you got the extra stickers in here too if you need them. Oh, I'm missing this this piece here. I didn't put it in right. That's my own fault. But don't worry about that. I want to get to the other stuff, the, the uh, add-on stuff for you. So I'm just going to stick this in here like this. So these don't go flying, and uh, they're not going to go anywhere. They're looking good. Put that in there. And close her up. Boom. Nice. Obsidian zone action. <clears throat> now give me a second to grab the other couple boxes that are on the other side here. If I'm able to reach them, just my barricade of 
up zone. Some of you, uh, and this, I'm just going to show this again. Some of you might not have, again, gotten the Lord Commander, and you might have gotten, um, might have gotten like a regular zone. You may end up getting your stretch goals separately, so keep that in mind. So if you didn't get them yet or only got them for some reason, uh, Miniature Market in the U.S. and uh, Green in Poland might be setting them separately because each zone is individually packaged for safety. Um, so each zone is basically its own case. Unless you got Lord Commander, then it's one gigantor case with everything in it. So you might end up seeing this get shipped to you and be like, what the heck? Well, this is the stretch goals and you might get other stuff later. Definitely don't want to force it. Take your time. You can also send us like a little mini video or something like that. You can send it to our Facebook and we'll take a look there too. If you want to do like a mini video, like on Facebook video and show us the issue it might help also. So we can take a look at what your, um, what your zone is doing wrong. All right. I got, I think two more boxes here to show. We've got the size expansion pack and the world tomb zone. And that will be it for UpZone stuff today. So let's do the size expansion pack real quick first. <clears throat> this is so that you can make any of your UpZone zones bigger or different or different orientations. And you can see the size is there, some of the ways that we recommend you do them. But again, you can... You can set it up however you want. That's the point of UpZone is to play your games the way you want to. So, but if you want to make like a six by four board, six foot by four foot, um, different versions of 60 by 44 inches, three by three, four by four, there's all different ways to do it. So, yep. Boom. And if you got Lord Commander, these will be shipping separately. Keep in, keep in mind, these don't come in that box. They might be in a completely different... They will be in a different package um, from what you ordered. More silica gel. Do not eat. Uh, bonus pieces in the dungeon set would be the Obsidian Zone dungeon tiles that I just sh showed you. Um, so keep that in mind. You'll see those um, in your dungeon zone. And if for some reason... Somebody finds something that's missing, you always reach out to us. We'll get you what you're missing if needed, as needed, as soon as we can. So these here, as you can see, are double-sided. So I have a cathedral version, and you'll have uh, a dungeon version, and some of them will have kind of a simpler plane-looking location with walls or different sections here that depending on what you want to use them for you'll have ancient zone you'll have cathedral zone on the other side nice and big so you can take up that space and you could fill it like if you use this in a regular zone you could fill it with your scatter terrain you know that we gave you or you can use your own however you want to do it so you can kind of create your own cover whatever you want to do I could just add a couple pieces here to show, but you know, that I created here with us. But uh, just to give an idea, you know, of uh, what you want to do with it, you can kind of set it up however you want. You know? <clears throat> so. They're nice and hefty and vibrant looking boards with a full wrap on each side so you can see this one has that tunnel that goes down that's from the pyramid and again this is these are all meant to just expand your expand your game to the size you want it to be expand despand make smaller larger however you want for all the locations now, if you're wondering, oh, where's the Obsidian Zone ones? Well, we'll show you. They will be with the World Tomb Zone. 
I'm not going to put this back 100% correctly. I'm just going to put it back quickly so I can get this done for you folks. I don't want to keep you waiting forever. Here. I forgot some foam. And again, uh, you know, this is this is mostly meant to keep it protected during shipping. Once you put it in the box and you put it on a shelf like this, what's going to happen? Probably nothing, but the foam is there for your safety. All right, World Tomb Zone. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Drink some water. Let's crack her open. <clears throat> World Tomb. All right. So, this one has this paper here. Not a normal booklet, but it shows you the layouts of what goes in here. So you can get an idea for how to do it, how to use it, as if it's the, you know, customized expansion pack. It has this and a bunch of the dungeon clips as well. So you can clip all your dungeon tiles. And these are big, flat obsidian zone locations of different types, depending on how you want to do it. These are all grids on it. You can see here, there's multiple of those. Again, you can make a big board with these. You could just play on these if you wanted to. Here. <clears throat> Goes deep into there. So, lots of the tiles. More silica gel. Do not eat. I've got a whole collection over there now. You can use them as tokens for a game. So, for the World Tomb Zone, just like in the dungeon set, you have these that could be floors. Or they can be walls, basically. So, if we wanted to set up a little mini dungeon with the world tomb. And again, it kind of looks like this. I already started messing it up, but get an idea. Take the dungeon tile like this for the world tomb. You can put it up against here. You can choose to close off a section if you want, like this if you so desire. And you can use the clips to uh, clip them off and together if you want. <clears throat> Take another tile, nice and new, out of the box. Push it down. Let's say I want to put it over here next to this one. I don't need to close that one off anymore. Maybe I want to just close off this section of this zone, you know. Who knows? However you want to set it up, you know, you can clip them together, start clipping the different zones together to create kind of however you want to set up your dungeon. And there's tons of these throughout, you know, in the different ways they go. But again, once you get them, they're going to, they're going to be brand new. You're going to need to give them a little backwards fold, just gently. It'll help them sit flat on the table, which is good. Nice and easy. And there's, there's lots of content in this box. Lots of the tiles and the custom foam from the box here like that. So, so yeah. I'm just going to throw these back into the box. Uh, before we finish up, does anybody have any questions or things they're wondering about? Well, you got me here live because this is the last part to show you. This was the World Tomb Zone, which was an add-on item. They are not a ton printed, but we have some, not very many extras, because uh, we made pretty much just for what people were looking for for the Kickstarter. Um, but, uh, but yeah, anybody have any questions? Anything before we log off for the day here? That was the UpZone Epic Unboxing video. Uh, Post sales will be at retail. We will eventually have them up on our own store. But right now, our biggest important thing to do is to get them to everyone. 
So we are focusing on fulfillment and getting all of the stuff to the backers as quickly as possible. Once fulfillment's done, then we will allow retail to actually put them out. So um, our distributor is holding them until fulfillment's done. Once all the backers have theirs, then we will allow them to sell them uh, at, uh, at retail. So right now we are still holding off on post sales until everyone has their stuff. Uh, Knife Bunny, quick. I've just arrived and I have a question. Uh, should I show you everything all over again? Good news. Uh, I figured out before the stream how to make sure the videos save to, uh, to Twitch. So as soon as I end the stream, it should come up as a video that you can watch post stream, which is cool. Um, so don't worry. Um, once I end this, you should be able to watch it from the beginning, which is pretty cool. So don't worry. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. If anybody has any questions, of course, if you couldn't think of it now, you can always email us at info at everything epic .us. It's always easier than emailing through the Kickstarter system because we can't track the Kickstarter um, emails. They will come in as like a message through their system and then we don't know what you might have asked before. So it's always best to email us directly so we can help you more easily. Um, but uh, yeah, I was really happy and exciting to show everything off today. Um, I don't even know how long I've been doing this for. Looks like over an hour, hour and 50 minutes. So I'm just glad that I was able to show folks the, the UpZone stuff. And um, I'm really excited about it. I think it came out really nicely. Again, this is the first time I'm seeing it off the ship. Um, so it's looking really nice. Everything is nice and, and clean and strong um, as expected. And as we, uh, as we paid for, spared no expense, we wanted this to be the best possible pop-up terrain that we could make. And so um, we can't wait for you all to get it so you can play with it and enjoy it and make your lives easier. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for backing. You're the best backers in the world. And we really hope you enjoy UpZone. Thank you very much.